What is up beautiful people? Today I'll be showing you how to make whipped body butter. This body butter is great for dry, damaged or sensitive skin and it's also great for your hair. So guys, before we get started, if you're watching me for the first time, you're welcome to my channel and if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell as well. So let's get started. The first ingredient you need is organic unrefined shea butter. You can tell that your shea butter is unrefined from the color and the smell because unrefined shea butter has a beige or off-white color and it has an earthy smell while refined shea butter is white and has no smell. I prefer to use unrefined shea butter because when shea butter is refined, it loses up to 75% of its bioactive ingredients and vitamins. So even though it's moisturizing, it doesn't have the same healing and skin or hair beautifying properties as raw unrefined shea butter. So the next ingredient you need is coconut oil, carrot and avocado oil. I actually made this oil myself and I have a video on how to make it which you can find on the top right hand corner of this video. You will also need olive oil, vitamin E oil, peppermint essential oil or you can use any essential oil that you have. You will also need measuring cups, a whisk, a hand blender or a hand mixer whichever one you have and you will need a mixing bowl. So what you need to do is measure out 2 cups of shea butter into the bowl. And then place the mixing bowl into a pot of boiling water so that the heat from the boiling water would gradually melt the shea butter. Once the butter is completely melted, you add half a cup of olive oil. One tablespoon of carrot and avocado oil. One tablespoon of coconut oil. few drops of vitamin E oil and about 20 to 30 drops of peppermint oil and then you stir till all the ingredients are completely incorporated. After that, you put the mixture into the freezer so it can cool down faster but you have to keep checking at least every 5 minutes to make sure that the mixture doesn't solidify. You will know when the mixture has cooled down enough when the mixture starts to solidify on the sides and on the bottom of the mixing bowl 
so you take it out of the freezer and use a spatula to scrape out the sides and bottom and try to mix everything together then you start to mix with a hand blender or a hand mixer till the mixture gets fluffy and stiff You can put this into a container with the aid of a piping bag or a ziplock bag and store in a cool dry place. Some people may not like the thick consistency of the body butter, so all you need to do is turn the butter into a lotion. You pour a desired amount of any oil of your choice into a clean bowl. I am using sweet almond oil. Then you gradually add the body butter and mix together in the, with the oil till you get the right consistency for you. You bottle and you use accordingly. You can use this body butter on your skin and on your hair. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.